Today we will discuss how we could actually organize in the Salesforce functionality where we could download Microsoft Word file. So the actual idea is in the following. So we have some incident record and when we are going to the detail page, here we have a button with name generate incident report. So when we click on that button, what is happening? It's open us a new page and it's downloading the file. So once that file is downloaded, what we expect is we expect to see the following file and that file should have the following sections like overview with the basic description of the records and execution summary with summary of the record and then we should be able to see a sequence of events related to that specific record. So how we could actually generate that uh, kind of uh, Microsoft Word uh, document or any other kind of document. So idea around it is in the following. So in the Salesforce we are creating a button on the actual object, in our case on incident, and into the button we include an actual link to our Visual Force page plus a specific parameter. In our case we decided to pass here as a parameter just incident ID and uh, nothing else because based on the incident ID we will be able to grab all required data from the actual uh, backend. So on the backend our Visual Force page looks like this. And what is, you know, like interesting and what is different as what we could see usually. So sometimes when we need to generate a PDF, we have here render as PDF. But in our case, because we need to download it as a Microsoft Word document, so in that case, as you could see, we are using a uh, content type with the following uh, MSO Word uh, type. And then we are using, you know, like HTML for us in order to be able to build a Microsoft uh, Office Word uh, template. And when we are doing so, we include in also some, you know, like specific text that need to be included. And then our regular, you know, like template is nothing else than, you know, like regular Visual Force page. So we include in text, we include in dynamic variables. So for all these sections, we are doing, you know, like all what is required. Where we have a table, so then we are having, you know, a like capex repeat for our, you know, like list of object from the backend side and doing, you know, like what is required for us to be done. And on the uh, backend side of our controller, what we're actually doing is we are preparing here a list of variables that we will use. Then in the controller, we actually grab in the incident ID variable from the URL. Then it will be better for us to include, you know, like check if that incident ID is uh, valid or not or null is not, you know, like and then add, you know, the specific rendering section to the page. But in that case, because it's just for demonstration, here we have our incident record uh, grab from the DB, then we have our comments grab from the DB, and then, you know, like it's everything what is required for us to grab it. And then generate that PDF file. So actual idea and actual trick is here in that content type. So once that content type is provided, then it will look like this as that, you know, like Word document, which could, you know, like do whatever is required for us to have. So thank you for the attention.